One of the greatest enemies in creating a solid relationship, you know what it is, Chris? Avoidance. Yeah, the you're... way Mary had better be avoiding me after I get off this set. <laughs> and somebody we know is really good at avoiding. No, you've got to be open with your feelings and have real conversations. If you're an avoider and you don't talk about your feelings, like how angry I am at Mary the producer, it just bottles up. You have to let it go. So how do we avoid avoidance in our marriage and our relationships? So everybody, please welcome our sex and relationship therapist, Leslie Gustafson, to the show. Hello, Leslie. Uh, okay. This is a big, big, big topic, and I love your admitting. No. <laughs> you have to admit it first. Let's talk about what avoidance is, okay? It's an outgrowth of fear. They're kind of like best friends. Mm -hmm. So there are layers of fears that could be playing a role here in life or in your relationship. Fear of rejection, fear of humiliation, fear of intimacy, fear of loss of independence, fear of loss of control, fear of shame, mm -hmm. fear of getting angry or have someone getting angry at you, fear of getting your hurt feelings or hurting someone else's feelings. Those there are all reasons you would avoid. That was a yes. big box. I know, and that Jeez, is she, she rehearsed <laughs> that those. Is tip of the iceberg. Those are reasons you would avoid confrontation or communicating. Avoid entering in, avoid okay. speaking up, avoid reaching out, avoid having a proactive style in life. This okay. is huge. Bottom line, people who avoid think that they're protecting themselves. Yes. That it's easier that way. They won't get hurt mm -hmm. if they don't enter in, if they don't reach out, if they don't speak up. But the opposite is it's very, very hurtful. They end up isolated. They don't have real connection. Their relationships suffer. Sex life, I mean, if you think about it, fearful out of the bedroom, fearful in the bedroom. So they're not free or expressive or entering in there either. But mostly, they miss out. Yeah, they, they miss totally out do. On what they could have if they entered in, if they stepped out into the world, mm -hmm. if they engaged with their partner, where someone could delight in them and affirm them and have fun with them and play with them. How That's do you get where them, full life is. How do you get them to get off the diving board, to actually go and, and just avoid the fear and just try whatever yes. it is? And, Whether it's and, the and communication or... the thing or, with fears. You want to know you have them, but you don't want to stare at them too hard or they become larger. Yes. We all have them to some degree. Some people are more paralyzed by them, but mm -hmm. we all have fears. We're human. It comes with humanity. But you've got to know that you have them. Mm -hmm. And in that, you've got to step up and decide, I'm going to push through and I'm going to practice the life and honesty and be vulnerable and commit to that and know that it's going to feel uncomfortable. Yes. Right. But you're going for uncomfortable because of the goal on the other side, full life, connected relationship, a good sex life, living. Mm -hmm. That is living. You've got to be out of the box. to push through that all the time, right. every day. I have a long history okay. of fear in my own life. Uh -huh. That I do this is a miracle. Right. But every day I get up and face it and step out and ignore it and talk back and you rise up and you become empowered and you do big things. Yeah! yeah. yeah. All and right. that's what full uh, life is. You're right, avoiding, you just, you might as no, well, yeah, it makes it worse you're and shut worse. In. And you get analysis paralysis and you think too much mm -hmm. and you freeze and you flee and you fight and then you stay you're all great. cocooned. All right, yes. excellent. Absolutely right. Just, this is just the start of the conversation. Uh, go to the website, authenticandtrue.com. Don't, don't avoid this topic. <laughs> no, don't. Face it head on and get the conversation going. Absolutely. Right. Thank you so much, Leslie.